Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is going to be your financial situation reading. This is going to be for the next 30 days, so what that means is that when you hear these messages and watch this video, the next 30 days applies in your financial area, okay? Your financial situation. Please remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? And remember, you guys, this is an intuitive reading. So, Sagittarius, let's see what energies and messages we have coming through here about your money, all right? So, we have energy. That's powerful. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. What do they need to know about their money? Okay, communicating freely, beautiful, all right, spirit, Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising, what do they need to know about their financial situation the next 30 days, okay, you know, we're talking about their career, their business, um, money making ideas or projects. Maybe this is money that's owed or due to them, you know, from a court-related situation, inheritance, lawsuit, anything. Anything that has to do with Sagittarius' money. What do they need to know, Spirit? Thank you. All right, so we are ready. Financial situation. You've got the moon. Okay. In your foundation, you have the Page of Cups. What's benefiting your financial situation is the star. In your crowning position, you have temperance. There you are, Sagittarius, in your own reading. I love it. All right. Your new financial opportunity is the Eight of Cups. In the position of what you need to know, you have the Two of Wands. And your outcome energy is the Ten of Wands. All right. Give me just a moment here. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. You know you have you have three cards here in a row that talks about you going after a a, a vision, a dream. Okay. Something that you desire. Very powerful. The star, the moon, and the eight of cups. This is definitely. You going after something that, you know, th this could definitely be a situation where you have been manifesting, okay, a career that you want. Or maybe it's a business, taking action on starting a business. Maybe it's going back to school, okay, so you can... You know, do something that you have passion for and it will, you know, have a return later on. Okay, it'll pay off in your future because that is you investing in your future. Whatever this is, okay, it's very powerful. There is a lot of self-confidence uh, that you have here and you're, you're going for it, okay? Now, you have energy, healing energy and immense vitality flow through me easily and effortlessly. All right, Sagittarius, when we're talking about a financial situation, this is very powerful. Some of you have definitely been dealing with some financial hardships and setbacks. And what this is saying here is there is a healing taking place within your finances, okay? And you, you know, many of you, your passion is being reignited, okay? You're being re-inspired to go after a dream, to go after a vision, to go after that career opportunity. For some of you, maybe there's a position opening up with the place you already work for. And this is you getting up the courage to go and be like, hey, um, I want to apply for that. I, I think I'm the one that, you know, you should hire for that position, okay? And I see you doing it and getting it, all right? Communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. This is you manifesting, okay? 
Manifesting, communicating to the universe what it is that you want and desire, Sagittarius. You know, and I feel like you're definitely setting your intentions right here. You're going to make your mark. I feel like what's unfolding in the next 30 days is what you've been working on the last few months, okay? But, you know, and what I mean by working on is that you have been maybe working with the phases of the moon, uh, with setting your intentions, communicating what it is that you want, okay, and claiming it and believing it. Definitely manifesting, you know, being the alchemist, all right, of your reality. And it's, it shows right here that's what you've done because you've got temperance, okay? And this is you doing that inner alchemy, doing spiritual alchemy here to have an advantage, all right, and to change outcomes, okay, and to change Maybe you are going on a certain uh, path and you've decided, wait a minute, I don't like the, the direction I'm going in here. I'm going to make change, okay? And this is you manifesting and creating change and opportunities in your financial situation. All right, so we have the moon here, the energy of Pisces. This is your financial situation. This is very interesting, okay? I feel there is a little bit of uncertainty okay but at the same time I really do feel like you guys are listening to your intuition you're going in the direction where you're being pulled and that means that you understand you're divinely guided so you may be you know taking off here on this eight of cups going in a direction and you have no clue as to why you're going in that direction okay but you're doing it because you're being divinely led and guided and I tell you what, this is so rewarding because when you have that much faith and belief, okay, in the universe, your angels, your guides, and in yourself, I tell you what, you have some amazing, amazing blessings and opportunities coming your way. Miracles. You can expect miracles. That's what I'm getting from my guides, okay? This is you knowing it doesn't matter if you can't see up ahead. You know, if you don't have all the clarity that you need because you understand you will be cared for. Okay? And you will be protected. And that's right. You will. You guys are definitely, I feel like, in communication with your ancestors, your guides, um, spirit, your angels. Okay? They are around you and you are definitely, you know communicating with them and this is what's allowing for you to have this faith and this belief because you're understanding what's being shown to you again with the page of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy right here in your foundation this is what's driving you this is that life force energy okay sagittarius this is you being so intuitive you know you, you have that psychic energy flowing within you and through you this is you understanding that, you know, as long as you go in the direction you're being pulled, there is no wrong turns, okay? There is no wrong choice or decision. You're going in the right direction. This is you knowing it 100%. This is you knowing you have a new beginning here. You know, and this new beginning has to do with going after something that you've been dreaming of maybe all your life a vision okay maybe this is something you've been wanting to do since you were a kid and you just felt like you never had the time or the opportunity to do so and here you are you know I feel like the divine has you know unblocked pathways for you and unlocked doors for you so that you can walk down them and walk through them okay and it's all been divinely orchestrated here and you know it Some of you, this definitely has to do with being a healer. You could be, uh, you know, fixing to have a career that has to do with your beliefs, uh, your spirituality. Maybe it's Reiki. Maybe it's being a spiritual mentor. Maybe it's you getting on YouTube, starting a channel, a website. I definitely feel like it has to do with your spirituality, though, because we have so many energies right here talking about 
how powerful you are, okay? You are the alchemist. You are able to transmute a negative into a positive, which means you can make change. You can, you know, change outcomes that is outcomes that you desire that you want. And I tell you what, when you can do that, Sagittarius, there is nothing that you cannot achieve. I promise you that. I'm just, I'm getting maybe a counselor, maybe, you know, a mentor. All right, so we have the star here, the energy of Aquarius. This is what's benefiting your financial situation, okay? Again, we're talking about a healing taking place within your finances. Those of you that have done without, okay, been dealing with the financial setbacks, get ready. Your cup is fixing to be refilled. Others of you, this is an opportunity here for you to go after this vision, this dream. It's within reach. You're starting to realize that it's that, that star, that dream is not so far off. It's achievable. It's doable. Okay? And again, you are listening to the divine. Look at the rainbows. The rainbows represent endless opportunities and possibilities. And then here you are, Sagittarius. Temperance. Okay? This is what you know. You can make change okay you are the alchemist of your reality you have figured out how to take those obstacles challenges difficult times and transmute them into something that's going to benefit you okay that's amazing i see many of you making sure that you understand how something works or you know everything there is to need to, that you need to know about what it is that you're building or creating okay this is you doing the inner work the great work right here balancing your energies this is you having balance between the spiritual and the material realm and then here you are your new financial opportunity all right you're leaving what's in these cups behind you have eight cups here What's in them is no longer serving you, okay, when we're talking about your, your finances. So this could be a career, a business. You're walking away. You're like, you know, this is not fulfilling no more or this isn't, you know, uh, financially taking, you know, care of me. It's not bringing in stability and security. So I'm done. I know what I need to do. And this is you going after that ninth cup, going after that dream, that vision, that wish fulfillment. Not only are you going after something that is going to make you some money, okay, bring in stability and security, where you feel like you have more than enough, your cup runneth over, it's something you enjoy. It's something that's going to bring you so much satisfaction. Now, you have the two of wands, and this is what you need to know, Sagittarius, okay, this is you stepping into your personal empowerment right here. This is you understanding you have the world in the palm of your hands, okay? And what I mean by this is that you know how powerful you are. You have the self-confidence to whatever door you walk through or path that you walk down. You're going to own it. You're going to claim it. You're going to rock it. You're going to make it yours, okay? Therefore... There is no wrong choices here. Okay? And that's, I tell you what, that is self-confidence at its best right there. And definitely, you know, with this Eight of Cups and then the Ten of Wands as your outcome energy, like I said, you're letting go of a heavy load, a heavy burden you've been carrying around. And you know what, Sagittarius? It may have been somebody else's burdens and heavy load that you've been carrying around as well. You're done. You're going to, you know, pass the responsibilities that are other people's responsibilities back to them. And Sagittarius is going to, you know, make sure Sagittarius is looking out for number one. Going in the direction that Sagittarius is being pulled in, okay? And what happens is when you have this ten and you release and you let go, all right, you start over with that Ace of Wands. Your passion being reignited, being re-inspired, okay? 
And there's so much room for growth and expansion with this creative vision. Whatever you're going to breathe life into, what you have your mind set on, it's going to be very successful. Whether it's a business, a career, going back to school, maybe it's you investing in something, okay? I guarantee you it's going to be very rewarding. You have blessings coming. And you are definitely divinely guided and protected, okay? As you make these changes, okay, with your career. I mean, the healing within your finances is already taking place, okay? All right, Sagittarius. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart, you guys. Please leave me a comment. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Sagittarius.